Hey everybody, how's it going? So a few days ago I did a series of videos on this new piece of news regarding iOS 15 and the fact that they were going to be comparing photos on the device to perceptual hashes of images in a CP database. I learned from this video that I did here that I'm not going to say certain words out loud because it winds up uh, destroying the reach of the video. So in this video, I discuss my thoughts on this and the title of the video is pretty self-explanatory. It says the erosion of freedom and privacy occur because we consent to it. And what happens is we like to accuse an evil government or an evil corporation. But at the end of the day, we end up policing ourselves and we end up getting into these situations situations. I remember when a lot of, of these data centers were being built in places like Utah. I remember when the Patriot Act came out. I remember what the people around us were saying. It wasn't like there was this widespread how dare you moment and everybody came together and disagreed with the surveillance state. It What wound up happening were a lot of normal average everyday people were going up to those who disagreed with these actions and saying you must not be a patriot. You must not be American. You must want to see more terrorist attacks. You must not uh, respect our freedom. And obviously now in hindsight, many of the individuals who thought that way understand that we have gone way too far in the wrong direction. But by then, it's too late because you've already lost quite a bit. Um, you know, there are people that I know personally that were talking about up the whole if it saves only one life last year, not taking into account the opportunity cost, not taking into account all of the other variables, all the other things that can be come messed up within society as a result of a policy that focuses on one thing only which is short-term, lower the case note. Uh, when it comes to privacy on the internet, there are many people that may not quite understand how putting together this type of infrastructure may be bad for the future. And I talked about how people don't necessarily speak up in the beginning because they're afraid of the pushback. And I just kind of wanted to go into this a little bit with a real world example and give you my thoughts on it. So if you disagree with what I say in this video, because I will admit when it comes to perceptual hashing and everything involved in this process, I am not an expert. I would highly suggest that you listen to this video. Let's give Apple a fair shake on privacy where we were wrong to be mad at them. And more importantly, this one, which is an interview with Daniel Smullen. He is going for his doctorate degree. If you just take a look at his site, this is the pretty much the opposite of me when it comes to certifications, education, publications, citations, experience. Again, it, if someone who's mildly more qualified than I am to talk on these issues. And you may find this interview that we did to be, be pretty fun, particularly if you're someone who dis, who thinks that I maybe have gone a little too far with it. But what I want to talk about here is one of the comments that I received. And now, I did search this person's post history on this channel because sometimes you get people who are trolling and people who are trolling may just say something bombastic that they don't actually believe and in order to get attention. However, this does not appear to be the case here. This was someone who has a you know, decent post history of normal stuff. So I can assume that this is not made in bad faith and that this is actually their real thought. So the comment says, and I will censor certain words because I've learned my lesson about putting certain words in here, downvoted and reported as CA. P.S. CA victim talking. I was A when I was seven years old, back in 1992. Long time back, but I remember everything. Who cares if a random is looking at your pics and videos? It's for a good reason. Stick to right to repair. You have no business entering this area. And this was someone who seems to disagree with my idea that just because bad things have happened in the past and may continue to happen to people into the future, that does not mean that we are either A, going to fix this issue, B, nor that we have the right to fix this issue by spying on everybody all the time. And I said, just because you were abused does not mean we should all be spied on to the end of time. Don't weaponize your personal experience. I had a parent who screamed at me until 3 a.m. every single night until I moved away when I was 17. Should every phone be recording all the time to prevent this too? You don't get to deny people's Fourth Amendment rights because of your personal experience. And you don't get to weaponize your bad experiences to justify taking away the privacy and freedom of other people. Now, this is something that... I think is important to do, which is essentially to push back on the premise in the beginning rather than be afraid to speak out because you're afraid of being called uh, evil, an abuser, someone who wants to kill people, someone who wants to see people die, someone who wants to see people abused and all this other type of horrible stuff that gets thrown at you. People don't often speak out in the beginning, which is why by the time they do speak out at the end, it's too late because these systems are already in place. And uh, someone said, if you can stand behind your actions against child, uh, CA, you are a piece of crap. 
just like most other New Yorkers. Go F yourself. I really hope you don't have kids. And it just goes on. Pretty much anybody who disagrees with him on this idea, he says, don't have kids. Reported, you're a piece of garbage. And one of the things I'm noticing in the YouTube comment section here in particular is that most people, virtually, actually all of them, don't appear to be accepting the premise here. You know, one of the things that I've said in these videos is don't accept the premise of an asshole. And again, do I feel bad that someone had a bad experience? Absolutely. Do I want people to have this type of bad experience in the future? No. Would I do virtually anything within my power to keep that from happening again? Yes. Do I want to give up my Fourth Amendment rights? for the very small percentage chance that they may be able to help someone. No, the Fourth Amendment is not there because the Constitution and the Bill of Rights was like a book report where they had a 1,000 word minimum and you just kind of had to figure out how to pad some paper, you know, double space it so that it makes its way to three pages or just kind of explain something and ramble on. It's there because it matters. It's not there because there was a minimum word count in a book report. And there's a reason that it was put there. Now, granted, this may only apply to certain areas. It may not apply to what a private corporation does. That being said, there are general principles there and even if they are principles or pieces of the law that don't necessarily apply to what a private corporation does, there is still a principle and it is still there for a reason and it was the basis of our country for a reason and I'm not willing to give it up and if that makes me an asshole, if that makes me a douchebag, if that makes me a horrible New Yorker, well, call me a horrible New Yorker. I was already born here so I'm used to hearing that from people in my comment section who don't particularly like New York. I am not ready to give up my privacy. I'm not ready to give up my rights. I'm not ready to give up this, that, or the other because people I'm afraid that there is going to be pushback if I just for one second advocate for my freedoms and civil liberties. And I don't think any of you should either. There was an Apple internal memo that was leaked recently regarding this particular issue. And it says, and I quote, I know it's been a long day and that many of you probably haven't slept in 24 hours. We know that the days to come will be filled with the screeching voices of the minority. Our voices will be louder. The screeching voices of the minority. That's who you are if you have a concern regarding any of this and this is just this is horribly obnoxious and it's part of why I say I, I just I fundamentally don't want to accept the premise of assholes here the issue here is that if you have a difference in opinion on how to achieve something that must mean that you don't want to achieve it if you have a difference in opinion or a difference in philosophy on how to achieve a productive successful society it can't be that you have a difference in opinion on how to get there it must be that you don't want a peaceful and productive society if you have a difference in opinion and how to achieve a world with less abuse it must not mean that you have a difference in opinion on how to get there it must mean that you want to see more abuse and this is fundamentally what I'm talking about when I say don't accept the premise of assholes. Don't even reply to it. Do you do you want more people? No, I'm like, I'm not even going to uh, respond to the question as to whether I want more CA to happen because I, I'm not accepting your premise in the first place that because we have a disagreement on how to get there that it's a binary. I am starting to see the tide turn with regards to civil liberties and freedoms. My fear is not that the tide is not turning. It's not that people aren't sticking up for their civil liberties, freedoms, and rights. My fear is that in many ways this may be too late. As explained in this interview that I did with uh, Daniel Smullen over here, we, you do have many other cloud service providers that do this exact same thing. So again, if you're using a, an Android phone and you're using Google Drive or something or Google Photos to upload your stuff to the cloud, this stuff is getting scans in very similar a fashion for the same general reporting purposes. Uh, this seems weird because even if it's only doing it on the photos that are being uploaded to iCloud, just the fact that that type level of stuff is being done client side versus server side, it just seems like one step closer to just ugh, something that sends a chill up your spine. But in reality, this should have not been the hill to die on. The hill to die on was two or three or five or dare I say it, uh, 10 years ago. My, my fear is not that the tide is turning with regard to public perception when it comes to their freedoms, their privacies, and their civil liberties. It's that it turned, but just a little too late. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something.